I was completely shocked and initially thought she was joking. She explained that while she loved me, she wanted to be with me. She wanted to gain more experience before getting more serious since I was her first everything and she had only been with two other guys previously. Welcome to the Hallett Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, she wanted an open relationship, then I did this. But before embarking, on an expedition to knowledge and many people's poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. When your wife or girlfriend is out of the blue asks for an open relationship, it's over. Get this through your head, guys. And for some of you, I might have to hit you upside the back of your head to get through to you. She is either already cheating, has someone lined up, and has already invested emotional capital, or is looking for your replacement while holding on to you until she does. Either way, at the end of the day, there's no saving this. In my not so humble opinion, if you say yes to open relationship, you are a moron, unless you are buying time to end the relationship on your terms. Here is a good lesson video, and frankly, this guy could have handled it better. However, he was not the worst I've ever seen. Regardless, this is an opportunity for many of you guys out there to learn about modern women. My girlfriend, 24 female, and I, 23 male, have been together for three years. I recently hit a major rough patch. Until now, our relationship had been going well. We got along great and rarely fought. When we did have disagreements, we would usually cool down and talk things through thoroughly shortly afterward. Okay, that is healthy and positive. At the end of the day, I want to see all of you watching find that which works for you. About two weeks ago, my girlfriend approached me asking if I wanted to open up a relationship. I was completely shocked and initially thought she was joking. She explained that while she loved me and wanted to be with me, she wanted to gain more experience before getting more serious since I was her first everything and she had only been with two other guys previously. I immediately rejected the idea and told her I wasn't comfortable with it. Though she kept press pressing the issue, she eventually backed off when she saw I wouldn't budge. First of all, good for you. She kept pressing and you wouldn't budge. Secondly, slap to the back of the head. You told her you were not comfortable with it? No, dude, that is pussy ass, politically correct, feminized, policed speech. What? Do you also cross your legs when you sit down too? Evolutionarily speaking, men lead, and the answer in my view should have been no. Not, I'm not comfortable with it which leads you to open for a debate, which is what you got from her, as opposed to just saying no. There's a difference in language. Another point here, guys. When a conversation like this begins, 
put her on hold and say, hang on a minute, honey, I need to ring a kidney and then go put your phone on record, come back and say, okay, so, so I'm clear on what you're saying, start over. I don't want to misunderstand what you're trying to tell me here. You will need this recording down the road for when all this blows up and she attempts to play victim to friends and family and paints you as the bad guy. However, a few days later, she brought it up again more forcefully, suggesting that we might need to take a break if we couldn't try an open relationship for a few months. Feeling cornered between taking a break or agreeing to an open relationship, I reluctantly agreed. Slap to the back of the head. Did any of you hear that ultimatum she delivered in the most manipulative fashion that our brother here fell for? My brother, there is no taking a break. That is called breaking up, aka ending the relationship. There is no pause so I can cheat and if it doesn't work out, I can come back to you. Any man who agrees to that is showing how weak he is. I will say this again. Women do not respect weak men. By agreeing to this, you just now demonstrated you are more into her and this relationship than she is. And in her mind, this gives her all the power. This is the reason why every major classical religion warns about women and power. Sure, there are exceptions. However, I'm not talking about those women. Two days later, last Friday, I came home from work to find her dressed up. When I asked why, she said she was going to the bar with friends and wouldn't be back until the next day. Understanding what she meant, I suggested staying in together instead, but she insisted on going out. After she left, I find myself alone watching TV and drinking. Slap to the back of the head. Dude, I get you're hurt. Who wouldn't want to mourn the end of a relationship? However, you need to immediately start packing her crap up into garbage bags putting them out on the front stoop or at least at the door. Now, in some jurisdictions, if she's on the lease, she has a legal right to be there. However, if she's not, make sure you don't live in a jurisdiction where you are required to legally serve her with an eviction notice. Also, make sure you videotape or record that inevitable conflict so she can't play victim to the police if it goes that far. Don't be the one to leave, make her leave. Then immediately tell friends and family what happened and control the narrative since nine out of 10 times she will lie. If it was me, I would send the recording of her demanding the open relationship out to them as proof before she has a chance to lie. Let's face it, the friends and families are gonna take her word, that recording, they'll have it in their hands before she starts to lie, and it will come crashing down on her. Thus, when she does lie, the fallout is all on her. Feeling down, I called one of my close friends, female 23, to talk about the situation. Okay. If you are in a serious relationship, you have to be careful about close friends of the opposite sex. I can't tell you the number of stories I have done where that becomes a serious instigator of trouble. After discussing it for a while, I invited her over to drink since I was feeling terrible and alone. Oh, what could possibly go wrong with that? While hanging out and talking about open relationships and my feelings, my friend suggested that if my girlfriend was essentially cheating on me, 
I should also enjoy the benefits of an open relationship. One thing led to another. I have always hated that phrase, one thing leads to another. It's just an absence of accountability. And I'll leave the details to your imagination. But it did make me feel better. Yes. Well, hitting that, I'm sure it did. And we could get into the debate of what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Personally, I would have kicked her to the curb, not banged the friend, so I could keep the moral high ground and my honor. But hey, that's just me. In the comments section below, guys, write what you would have done. Are you like me and would have kicked her to the curb? then go bang the friend and her sister if she has one that's into you? Or would you have done what he did? The next morning, my girlfriend came home furious, demanding to know what my friend and I had been doing in our bed. Uh, does she need a diagram? Uh, video? Remedial reading? When I told her what happened, she became angry revealing that she hadn't actually done anything that night before and had stayed at her friend's house. Now she wants to close the relationship and is demanding I prove my loyalty for cheating on her even though we never discussed any rules for the open relationship. So, am I in the wrong for participating in an open relationship that she suggested? Well, my brother, the short answer is no. Thomas Decker wrote in his play, The Noble Spanish Soldier, quote, Oh, be careful what you wish for, for you might get it. Well, she got it, and now she can't handle the consequences. She pushed your feelings into an open status after you expressed your reluctance and now she manipulatively demands you prove your loyalty? Once again, the old saying about women and accountability usually can't exist in the same space at the same moment in time. And this includes even using a Heisenberg certainty principle compensator. It still can't happen. This is why, guys, you need to record or have some kind of evidence that she's the one who demanded the open relationship. Because as you can see, when it all blows up in her face, she will take no accountability for the outcome. This will be followed by making you out to be the bad guy. If this ever happens to you, remember that your relationship is over. There's no saving it. Record or videotape the discussion where she wants the open relations and you do not. Then, when she goes out, change the locks if you legally can and let everyone know it's over and why. Then be prepared for all the fallout from all her friends pressuring you to take her back from her mistake. Don't be a weak ass bitch. The answer is no and move on. Focus on rebuilding yourself in mind, body, and soul. Find a purpose, a goal, some kind of discipline, and master it. If you are one of the unsubscribed viewers who watch me and found value in my channel, it's time to show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicmonologue.com. If you have a moment, Drop me a comment below on what you think and then subscribe to my Locals Rumble Twitter Getter or Gab for future politically incorrect content. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, 
and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these if you're watching on YouTube right now and watch another. Until next time.